Hi guys, we are still reorganizing the doll room and I came upon these crowns and I just had to share it. These crowns I found at Target after Christmas when they were having their after Christmas sale. They're actually ornaments for your tree. And what made me think that they were perfect for Welly Wishers was this crown. I found this crown at the thrift store. It was on a Prince Charming um, doll that looked like a Disney animator, but it wasn't, but the crown is perfect. And I just loved it. I loved the size and I knew this would be perfect for our other dolls, but I couldn't find any more. So when I saw these ornaments, it just hit me that these would be perfect for Welly Wishers. And they are. I did absolutely nothing to this and it fits Welly Wishers perfectly. And our other 14 inch dolls that you can see behind me, what I'm going to do is show you how to disconnect the price tag loop from the crown and that's all you have to do. And you have a perfectly sized crown for your Welly Wishers and other 14 inch dolls. Yes, I know some of these dolls are 14 and a half or 15 inches, but when I say 14 inches, I mean dolls that are the size of the Welly Wishers. So now let me show you how in less than five minutes, you can have a perfect crown for your 14 inch dolls. So basically all the crowns come just like this. One end is looped with the price attached to it. You get these at Target for $3 during the holiday season. And they are made of metal. And the minute I saw them, I thought, Welly Wisher Crown. So they had three varieties left when I went, the gold, the silver, and the ivory. So what I'm going to do is unroll this wire here to detach the ball. So what I'm going to do is basically try to take this loop off. I already took the price tag off and I'm just going to undo this wire here. I'm just going to try to straighten out this wire to get this ball out. That's my goal. Just, but I don't want to break it. Okay. And then you can cut. At this point, you can cut this, leaving the ball in there. Definitely want to leave the ball in there for now. Okay. And definitely wear protective gear when you're doing all this. So there goes the, let me put my hand in here to hold it. So I could take the ball off. Now, this little bit of wire left is still too long. So what we want to do is cut it but not all the way down. Okay. Okay, so we cut that. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply Gorilla Glue right at the tip. So I apply Gorilla Glue right at the tip here. Let me... And you could also use Super Glue or whatever you want. I like Gorilla Glue. And I'm using the clear Gorilla Glue so you won't see a mess. You put the bead back on. And now you have a crown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing for all the crowns. I just love this. This is so cute. Let me try it on a girl right now. Let's see, who do I have? It's a bumbleberry girl. Let's see how the crown looks on her. It's totally not dry yet. Oh my God. Guys, take a look. Perfect. So I'm going to do this with all the other crowns and then I'll come back and show you all the girls with their crowns. So guys, check it out. Take a look at all these crowns. These dolls look fabulous in it. And what I did was I tried to show that the crowns fit on a variety of 14 inch dolls or some of them made by different manufacturers. We have a Bumbleberry Girl here, a Glitter Girl, Welly Wishers, and Heart for Heart Girls. We even have the doll that we got from China that's 14 inches. These crowns fit all their heads because basically their heads are the same diameter. And what I really like was there was just very little that you needed to do to have these perfectly sized crowns. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.